Ben McGrath is in sensational form today. That's his fifth successive wicket. It's been a devastating opening spell for the Australians. He nailed Andrew Flint off for a duck. England were reeling at five for 21. Not the start that the home side was looking for, having dismissed the Aussies for 190 in their first innings. At the crease now is the test debutant, Kevin Peterson. He's joined by wicketkeeper Geraint Jones, and Peterson has looked cool from the off. Having dismissed the Australians for 190 in their first innings, England must seize their opportunity and gain control of the match. They need a solid start from the openers, Marcus Truscothic and Andrew Strauss, if they are to dominate the Australians. After a solid opening partnership between Marcus Jaskothic and Andrew Strauss of 112, England lost wickets in quick succession and are now 187 for four. Kevin Peterson's at the non-striker's end and Andrew Flintoff has just arrived at the wicket. It's a new over from Shane Warne and England's hopes of amassing a big total could well depend on this partnership. The score's 72 for five, with Ian Bell still out there on 20, and England need to build on their first innings lead. It might just be Andrew Freddie Flintoff, who's the man to do it. Michael Vaughan, the England captain's on 45, and he looks in good touch today, having won the toss and chosen to bat. He's facing Glenn McGrath, and it's really up to Vaughan and Truscothic now to put pressure on the Australians. Australia are in deep trouble at 133 for five. It's going to take something special from the lower order to rescue the innings. Adam Gilchrist has 12. Shane Warne has just come to the crease with him. Ashley Giles is in the middle of a good spell, but Michael Vaughan might well now look to bring back Simon Jones. He can rattle cages and hopefully pick up Australian wickets. The usual animated Brett Lee there as Kevin Peterson gets a thin edge through to the waiting gloves of Adam Gilchrist. 45 for Kevin Peterson, but England reeling a bit at 241 for five. It's crucial that Garrett Jones, who's unbeaten at the other end, does something with Andrew Flintoff, who's about to face Brett Lee. Sixty-four still needed for England to win it. They're 65 for four at the moment. Sean Tate's coming back into the attack to try to ruffle Kevin Peterson's feathers. And Andrew Flintoff is at the non-striker's end. This pair have to settle down and consolidate. You just sense a panic in the ranks. After all, the target was only 129. We are ready to get underway for the final test match in what has been an enthralling Ashes series. The Oval here in South London is packed to the rafters. The Australians are out there and raring to go as Marcus Truscothic and Andrew Strauss make their way to the middle. England 2-1 up in the series. The first ball of the day will be bowled by Glenn McGrath and it's Marcus Truscothic on strike. Ian Bell caught by Shane Warne off the bowling of Glenn McGrath, which focuses all the attention on Kevin Peterson. England are 67 for three and rather relying on Peterson to take the game away from the Australians. His brilliant form of the summer is needed here now because England only have to draw the game to ensure that they capture the Ashes for the first time in 18 years. Michael Clark, the young Australian Tyro in his Ashes Test debut, is aiming to make his mark on the hallowed turf of Lords. It's his first visit here, and he went for just 11 in the first innings, trapped in front by Simon Jones and Plum LBW. Yeah, you've got 
The players and the umpires are making their way to the middle for the start of play in England's first innings. There are Marcus Truscothic and Andrew Strauss, who surely are looking to build the base for England's total. You can bet your life that the new ball specialist, the master, Glenn McGrath, has other ideas. Ricky Ponting is about to make a bowling change. Yup, it's Shane Warne who's coming on to bowl his first ball of the innings. He'll bowl in tandem with Brett Lee. Now that's a useful combination for the Australians. Spin at one end and speed at the other as they look to make the breakthrough. Australia in desperate trouble here at 177 for eight. As Shane Warne faces up to Andrew Flintoff. It is up to the Australian tail to pull off a miracle because for sure England can scent victory. Still a further 105 needed by the Australians if they're to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. Adam Gilchrist has gone and Australia are struggling at 186 for six. Shane Warne and Michael Clark are together. They've got to rescue the innings and somehow avoid the follow-on. Warne looks in good touch. We can't rule anything out from him. Michael Clark, of course, is injured as he faces his first delivery from Simon Jones. Australia 135 for three, Ricky Ponting's unbeaten on 48 and he's the key to the whole thing. England of course desperate for quick wickets as they're pushing for victory, there's still a 288 difference between the sides, but it's the resolve of the Australian captain that could decide the whole afternoon. What an amazing position for the Australians to find themselves in. They're 100 for five, they're trailing England by 377 after that collapse, and they still need another 178 to avoid what would be an embarrassing follow-on. They haven't followed on for an age. Adam Gilchrist and Simon Cattager at the crease, and a lot lies on their shoulders. Geraint Jones is out then, trying to hit Shane Warne down the ground. That was a steady catch from Michael Kasprovich. The tail is under such pressure, still 13 needed to seal victory for England as Brett Lee starts a new over to Matthew Hoggard. Australia are proving just what a good and fighting side they are and suddenly they have a real chance of stealing this win away from England. This pair of Australian test cricketers have made for a marvellous partnership over many years, but both have failed to capture their previous form in this Ashes series. So, they'll be looking to dig deep and lay the foundations for the Australians and their own futures in the Australian team. Bad light and rain have dogged the Australians' efforts to get out there and have a crack at pulling off an incredible victory to tie the series and keep the Ashes from England. Here we go then. Langer and Hayden making their way out to the wicket as the English players and umpires are too. There's a target of 342 to win the game for Australia. Few overs remaining in the day. It'll take nothing short of a miracle. <laughs> 